How's it going everybody? This is Oasis back with another video on the channel. So we've recently started Ionic 4 series and Ionic uses Angular and Angular is built on the top of JavaScript. So if any one of you are interested in learning JavaScript, I would like to show you guys my course on Udemy, which is about 27 hours long and also it covers JavaScript in details. But the best part about this course is about 10 plus projects. You'll find a link of this course in the description below, including a coupon which will give you 50% off when you buy this course. So if you are interested in JavaScript, I would highly recommend, please give this course a shot and also let me know if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. So let's get started with Ionic. So this is the second video in the series for Ionic 4 with Angular 6 in which I'm going to be showing you how to create mobile application for Android and for iOS using one code. So in this video, we are going to take a look at how the file structure in our project is, how to create a project, also what are the templates available, and a bit of about the Ionic CLI. So I am in terminal, I'm using Mac, that's why I'm using terminal here. And if you're on a Windows, you can use a command prompt or you can use PowerShell. Throughout this course, I'll be using WebStorm as an IDE. I think this is the best IDE for web development and also for anything JavaScript related. This is the web best IDE and also this is not a sponsored video. Uh, so let's go and create a new project. So in the last video, you remember that we installed Node.js, we set up our Ionic CLI, we set up our Cordova, we created a project. Now let's go into details about Ionic CLI, also the projects. So when you type this command, Ionic start, uh, you are basically prompt with some of the options. So you said, okay, what is your project name? And then it's gonna ask you what kind of template did you want to use? Now, there is a flag with Ionic start, and I'm gonna type space, space, dash, dash, list, and then I'm gonna press enter. Now, this is going to show me all the templates available uh, for us to use. So right now, I'm gonna expand the terminal so you can see we have a blank side menu and tab template and the type for them is angular. So whenever you see a type is equal to angular, that means you are using that template with Ionic 4 framework and angular 6. Now we have an older Ionic framework as well, which was Ionic 3, which has the type set as Ionic angular. So if you select your project and you want to select template from Ionic 3 and use the same structure which was in Ionic 3, then you will use a type is equal to Ionic Angular. Now this is the latest Ionic framework tutorial series, which is Ionic 4. So we're going to be using a type as Angular. So let's go and create a new project. All right, so now let's go and create a new Ionic 4 project using Angular 6. So let's go to the terminal and I'm going to type Ionic start dash dash list. It's going to be it's going to give me the list of all the projects. So I'm going to say Ionic start and the next we are going to type the project name, which I'm going to call it Ionic 4 Tut. And then we need to define the uh, the template that we want to use. So let's say if I don't define a template and I just say dash dash type is equal to angular, press enter, and it's going to give me three options to choose from. So there's only three options available right now. The reason for that is because we already asked it to create the Ionic 4 project and Ionic 4 only has three template blank, side menu, and tabs. So let me prove my point by pressing Ctrl C and getting out of this command. And I'm going to type Ionic start and then we say Ionic for tute and then type we said that is equal to Ionic dash angular 
press enter now this time it's going to give me option of about six template because this ionic dash angular basically creates an ionic 3 project which has about six templates to choose from so let me go back and press ctrl c let's clear the terminal and i'm going to type ionic start and i will name it ionic 4 2 dash dash type is equal to angular and then i'm going to choose the blank template and next question it's asking me is about my targeting ios and android so if we are creating an application to publish on iphone or android we need a cordova so it's saying basically integrate a new app with cordova to target native ios and android so let's press y and press enter now it's going to go and download and integrate Cordova into our application and it's going to take a few seconds. I'm going to pause the video once the project is created or if there is any question that come up, I will let you guys know. Now, during the product creation, uh, the last question it would ask you is about Ionic Pro SDK. Ionic is an open source project which basically great to build your mobile application using Angular, uh, it's fast, but also they provide some sort of pro services. So I'm going to take you to documentation and here it says pro docs. So basically Ionic 4 or overall Ionic has the pro version, which basically gives you some extra features that you can use. For example, live deploy. We will have a separate video for each of these functions as I have a pro account with Ionic. But for now, just quickly, a brief introduction to pro Ionic is basically it, it generates your native packages in the cloud. It can do live deploy without going to App Store or Play Store. It can monitor your apps. For example, if your app crashes, why it crashes, it will monitor all those bugs. So this cool things about Ionic Pro, which we'll talk about later. Let's go back and I'm going to press N and then I'm going to press enter. Now at this stage, our project is created and I'm going to use a web storm to open this project. So let's click on open and I'm going to go and target that folder, which was in document, test project, and if we and I'm going to click on open. So throughout this tutorial series, I'll be using a uh, web storm, which I think is a great IDE by JetBrains and it's not a sponsored video guys, it's just WebStorm or any overall JetBrains product is great. So here is a folder for Ionic Tute 4 project and I'm going to go through to these all these files. Alright guys, so now let's go over to the folder structure and the file structure of our Ionic 4 project. So first of all, let's take a look at this resources folder. Basically, all your assets, your icon, your splash screen images, or whatever image that you're going to be using in your application that will go into your resources folder. So the reason why Ionic has this set up separately is because the Angular require, uh, sorry, the Android require different kind of resolution for your assets. iOS require different kind of resolution uh, for your assets. So Ionic and Cordova basically handle that automatically for us. So if you want to build a project for iOS, you type a command on your Ionic CLI and it will prepare your resources, uh, required resources for iOS or required resources for your Android. That's very simple. Now let's go to some files outside our source folder. So Git. If you're familiar with Git, you know what this Git ignore file does. You will list out all the folders which you don't want to be included in your Git repository. Angular.json, this is some configuration for your Angular. Uh, so we can go through this later whenever we need something from this file during the course. Well, let's move on. Config.xml is a really important file in your Ionic project. So basically, it will list out your Ionic ID, a version of your application, a description, a title of your application. Also, it will list out all the platforms 
and then it will list out all the resources link for that particular platform in this file also all the plugins used from Cordova in your application will be here we have a package.json file which is important as well it lists out all of our dependencies here you can see we're using angular we're using ionic it lists out all the dependency dev dependencies uh, we can define scripts as well for our custom builds uh, there's not much to look into these files these are just default files getting generated from ionic I will go through these files whenever we need to understand any property or any configuration from these files. Let's go to the source folder. The first folder inside the source folder is the app folder which will have all your Angular code. So all your components, your services, your pages, uh, directives will be inside this app folder. Next we have assets folder. Assets folder will list out your one icon image that will be used by Cordova or let's say Ionic to basically generate all your resources from this one file. These are some environment uh, variables. We have a theme, we have a variable.sas uh, file which is a global file and you can use these uh, these some of the color schemes uh, defined by Ionic throughout your application and this is just a global SAS file for you to use we have a global SAS file here we can list out all your uh, all your basically CSS and here we require this variable.sas file as well next we have an index.html file basically this is the entry point for your Ionic app we have uh, some testing files karma is used to test your application we have some polyfills main so main.ts is the entry file for your angular project or let's say ionic project this is like a startup file uh, which basically lists out this is a module that we want to use and we have defined that module in app.module that's our app component so here we have a ts config which lists out some more configuration Let's talk about this later. So in the next video, we are going to learn how we can use Ionic CLI to add specific platform to a project. For example, Windows, iOS, Android. And we want to learn how to use Ionic CLI to generate components, services, pages, and directives automatically. Also, we want to learn a CLI command to emulate our project on browser, on iOS simulator, and Android simulator. And also, I'll give you an introduction to Ionic Dev App. Also, please do subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be creating a lot more Ionic and mobile application development tutorials. Please uh, subscribe to the channel and press the bell button so you get notified of my uh, new video. Uh, also, I have uh, a course on Udemy related to JavaScript mainly. It's about 27 of the course. Please check that out and look at the description if you want to uh, learn JavaScript. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.